Aloha and welcome to another episode of Hawaii Food Explorers. Today we're going to check out some Hawaiian food at the Waihole Poi Factory. Let's go! Okay, we're up the road a little bit from Waiahole Poi Factory at Kualoa, Kualoa Regional Park. It's right across the street from Kualoa Ranch. We have a nice view in front of us of the ocean, several islands. Mokoli'i Island. Okay, behind us we have nice mountains. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get into it. Okay. We got the Kanaka Nui plate, which has a little bit of everything. So it has lao lao, kalua pig, chicken long rice that comes with either squid luau or beef luau and, and the sides they give us a second box with lomi salmon poi and haupia so we got one of two plates for each of us and we're gonna share with the child so we had got one with squid luau and another one with beef luau so we'll be surprised on which one is which because they look the same Okay, so first up is their poi. So it's hand pounded poi. It's really thick. The poi is basically pounded taro with water. This one is really good. You can really taste the root, mm -hmm. the taro. It's not sour. It's it's a very nice, clean, handmade poi. Yeah. Is it good poi? Mm -hmm. Okay, next we're gonna try the lomi salmon. So lomi salmon is tomato, onions, regular white onions, green onions. Could be mild onions. And salmon. And salt probably. I'm not sure. Usually they use salted salmon. So I don't know, it's iffy if they actually add salt. Hmm. I like that you can actually see pieces of salmon. Some places you go, it's more like lomi tomato and you don't really see any salmon. And some places it's really fishy depending on what kind of salmon, no. how old it is, things like that. This one is a good balance. Mm -hmm. Well, my tip is you put the lomi salmon in the poi <laughs> and eat it together. <laughs> I like to eat mine with the kulo pig. <laughs> Next is their chicken long rice. So this is usually a chicken broth and rice noodles, pieces of chicken. People make it different ways, but the chicken long rice is tricky to eat a lot of the times because the noodles are so slippery, it's hard to pick up with the fork. So I like the convenience of this little cup and you can just kind of drink it and slurp it all in. <laughs> That's how I would eat it. Nice light flavor, not overly salty, really taste the chicken in there. Mm. Kind of noodle. Mm -hmm. Is it good? <laughs> it's a really nice, simple chicken long rice. Mm -hmm. How is it? Delicious. That flavor is actually really nice. A lot of people, when they make it, 
or even other restaurants or people's aunties. <laughs> it's overly salted or, you know, they like ginger, so they put tons of ginger in it. And that's not really the flavor you're going for with chicken long rice. This is a good balance. Yeah, it's a nice balance. It's very light, um, light flavor to it. Nothing is overpowering. Okay, now it's time for the gamble. Let's see which one this is. Squid luau or beef luau? Squid or beef luau is taro leaves and it's stewed. I think this is uh, beef luau. <laughs> beef luau, probably a beef so broth maybe they do with it sometimes. Squid luau has coconut milk in it. Oh, okay. I just bit a piece of ginger. I don't like ginger. This is beef luau. It's actually really tasty. <laughs> it's really hearty. Nice beef flavor. If we don't bite the ginger, well for me, I really like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has a, uh, you know, the flavoring of the leaves and everything, it's, yeah. just, it's just like, it almost tastes like lao lao. Almost. Not I mean, quite. it looks a little disgusting, <laughs> but flavor-wise, mm -hmm. but I mean, it always looks like this. So it's not just because we got it here, it looks disgusting. <laughs> That's what beef or squid luau looks like. Okay, this one is the squid luau. It's a little lighter color mm -hmm. from the beef luau and... Definite smell of coconut milk. Yeah, typically made with coconut milk, mm -hmm. which I don't like. I got a big piece of squid. It tastes like a savory halpia. I love the squid part, um, but I'm going to stick with my beef luau <laughs> because I don't like the coconut milk, but this is for him, so have at it. Okay, next up is the lao lao. So typically lao lao is some kind of meat, um, pork or beef or fish. Sometimes it's all three with a piece of fat in it and then it's wrapped in taro leaves and they wrap it again usually in like tea leaves and cook it in the imu which is the underground oven or sometimes they just steam it. It's generally the size of, of, of a fist. Yeah. Mm. This lao lao is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying the leaves here. This has a lot of filling in it. I like a little bit more leaves, but filling is good too. It's um, not dry either. So mm -hmm. usually I will only eat the leaves because a lot of times the insides tend to be a little dry, which is why they put a piece of fat in it mm -hmm. to kind of not make it dry. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't always work for me. And I'll just eat the leaves and not touch the meat at all. But for this one, the meat is edible. Okay, but I really like the flavor of this lala because it's not overly salted and it's not bland. It's a nice balance of flavors. It has a great filling to leaf ratio. Mm -hmm. You can always have some, some of that leaf on the outside with the filling. Okay, next is the Kalua pig. So typically it's a whole pig that's cooked in the emu, the underground oven, and it's in there for hours and they take it out and they shred it up. This looks like a little bit on the drier side, but we'll see. It is a little dry, but it's not super dry. Like I've had drier hmm. Kalua pig. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if it went the other way, then it would be too greasy. Yeah. A good Kalua pig is hard to find because it's either way overcooked and it's super dried out, or they left some juice in there and now it's too greasy. And then it's too salty. But this one has a good flavor. You know what's good? Some of that pork with the lomi salmon. It's very tender and the flavor is not too salty. Sometimes you'll get it, it'll be really fatty, really oily, and really salty. This one is not. This one really tastes like it was made in the emu. Probably. You can kind of tell right away some places that they make it in the oven with liquid smoke. This one has a more authentic taste to it. Even if they use liquid smoke, 
not super obvious. I mean, I don't even get a hint that it is. Liquid smoke has a very distinct flavor. Mm -hmm. Good job on this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up, one of their sides we got is the ho'io salad. So I think the Japanese word for this is warabi. And it's a fern. So you can kind of see like the fern pieces. And they have tomato and onions. And we'll see what kind of dressing they use. So it's like slightly sweet, it's not salty at all. Mm -hmm. They really let the warabi and tomatoes and onions kind of speak for itself. Mm -hmm. It's a nice combination. There's a slight sweetness to it, Yeah. very earthy. Oh, there's a little, <laughs> it's a tiny little opai. <laughs> a tiny little body of a tiny shrimp. So it does have a little bit of that shrimpy flavor, but not overpowering. Mm -hmm. And it just helps to marry <laughs> all of these flavors together. It's done very well. Yeah. It's a very nice taste. When you look at it, it tastes exactly like what it looks like. Mm -hmm. and you taste all the ingredients. I really enjoy this. It's so hard to find this salad too. I think this is the first place on this island that I've seen it at a restaurant. Okay, next up is one Dessert. of the... Famous dessert, Haupia. So it's like a coconut gelatin dessert. Not my favorite, but who likes that? <laughs> he just dropped it on my pants. <laughs> my pants have been taking a beating today. Everybody is dropping things. Not me, everybody else is dropping things on my pants. <laughs> this is good. They don't use a lot of gelatin to cream ratio. Yeah, um, it's so very it's a, creamy. It's very creamy and less gelatiny hard. That's the only way you, you can actually eat these things. If it's like jello, what's the point? Yeah. Then it's just coconut jello. It's not really healthy. Though. Yeah, this one is very good. Okay, last dessert is the kulolo. So we they sell it by the scoop. Typically, when kulolo is sold, it's sold into little brick-like looking things, but these guys sell it by the scoop. And if you want, they also sell it with haupia ice cream, so you can get kulolo a la mode. I think they call it Sweet Lady of Waiahole. Yeah. It is very good. And the kulolo is warm when you get it, which is also a different thing because when you buy it from the regular store or even the farmer's market it's usually room temperature are you kidding me <laughs> well kulolo is taro with coconut milk and typically brown sugar it's a little sticky but if you like taro oh my god <laughs> this is really good. This is so good. This alone is worth the drive to get it. So you get this to take home. Don't eat it there. Get the Sweet Lady of Waiahole with the kulolo, warm kulolo bits and the Haupia ice cream. Eat that. Mm -hmm. Take this home and have more kulolo at home. This is... Uh, I don't know if I should eat more on camera because I will just keep eating it. Oh, it so... I mean, this, I don't know. I, mean, I, I don't know if you can see. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little sticky, right? The color is nice. It's not as dark as some of the other ones that you might see at stores. I don't know what it is about Kulolo, but I've always been a fan of Kulolo. It's almost mochi-like, and she doesn't eat mochi. Oh. And I don't like coconut, but this has coconut milk in it. There you go. But for some reason, whenever it's Kulolo, it don't matter. <laughs> I don't even taste the coconut milk. You can kind of taste it. But the core ingredient is what comes out in this. Mm -hmm. Definitely give this a try. So if you're going to drive all the way out there to get Hawaiian food anyway, <laughs> don't be afraid to order things that you don't know what it is. I don't know if they have anything that's bad. We almost forgot the drinks we got. <laughs> okay, so this one is a mamaki tea uh, made in-house over there. Mamaki is native to Hawaii. 
Um, it has good uh, catechins, catechins. It's good to help to lower your cholesterol, your blood pressure. It's also good to cool you down. <laughs> and for sipping along the way. <laughs> it's a very nice clean tea. We also got their house-made limeade. That's a nice, refreshing flavor. Oh, it's like you can taste the pulp. Not too sweet. <laughs> Not too rancid. Not too rancid. Not too sour. <laughs> but just Ooh. right. Yeah. Hi. Hello, we're in our wrap up room again to wrap it up. Um, what can we say about the Waiahole Poi Factory? Besides the fact that it's amazing. Once you get there, parking can be a little crazy. They do have a little lot there, so follow the signs and the arrows. It is a residential area, so please also be respectful of their homes there and their property. A lot of them put signs up directing you of where not to turn around. So please respect those signs and uh, avoid using other people's driveways as a turnaround point because they don't like it. And if you park in the lot, don't park right in front of the entrance and block the entrance for other people. Yeah, be aware of that. Uh, you are able to order online and pick up. So there's a few items missing from their online menu that are included in their regular menu that you can order if you stand in the line. Another thing about the line is that it takes a little while, but not because it's extremely long. It's because you'll find a lot of people that are tourists. If you're not familiar with, with some of these words, you're kind of questioning what it is. Mm -hmm. And then you start asking questions. And then that 30 second ordering process turns into like a three to four minute ordering process. They are very friendly though. The staff is very friendly and they're more than willing to explain to you what those items are and I've heard them do it over and over and hmm. over while we were standing in line and while we were waiting for our food and they're still doing it with a smile on their face so hmm. that is really appreciated and it really gives you like the uh, aloha feeling of the islands and the people and the culture here. But it'd be nice you know I mean to kind of look it up in advance. Yeah if and... you don't want to be that guy <laughs> do your research and be prepared before mm -hmm. you get to the front of the line. They do also have other uh, plate options so pretty much what we showed is about every main item that they mm -hmm. have on the menu just in one combo plate but they all have individual plates of those different items they have different combo plates mm -hmm. so you can buy them a la carte yeah in oh. addition to what we ordered we also got a couple a la carte servings of the chicken long rice and the child <laughs> ate one and a half <laughs> of those servings so if you have uh, children with you that's probably a good choice for them he really enjoyed it now addition to food items they also have some baked goods that were there they also sell shirts and bags as well as some other trinket items um, they also do poi pounding demonstrations on occasion and they post that on their Instagram mm -hmm. to announce when they're gonna do it and so you can order your fresh hand pounded poi from shortly after the moment it's pounded <laughs> and pick it up there. And to promote one of our local retailers, if you like my hat, it's from Get Nuts Wear Hawaii. So we'll put their website here and in the description down below. Now this hat has some <laughs> detail. It's, it, it's, it's a very nice design here. <laughs> I'm sure the other designs must be just as nice. Yeah, check out their website, see what else they got, and the location of their retail store is also listed on their website. And now it's time for the word of the day. <laughs> Today's word is mountain. Hmm. Mountain. Okay, mountain in Japanese 
is yama. And the kanji for it looks like a mountain. Yama. Yama. I know a lot of words that start with yama. Mm. A lot of names too. Yeah. A lot of last names. <laughs> the Hawaiian word for mountain is Mona. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people have heard that word before. Mm -hmm. Mona. Mona. Like Mona Kea. Ah. Or? Mona Loa. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mona. Mona. And that's a wrap for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment down below, let us know what you think, let us know if there's any place you want us to check out, and we'll see you next time.